Welcome back to my channel. Be doing my sneak collection today. Roughly about 40 pairs. I've been collecting for a bunch of years now. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with my Adidas first. I have uh, these NMDs, blue and red ones, the OG ones. These are pretty cool. I had a bunch of NMDs and a bunch of Ultra Boost, which I'll get into, but I sold a bunch of them because honestly I don't wear anything. So yeah, those are dope. Everyone knows these. Calabasas. I wear these a ton. These things are getting some mileage over the years. But pretty crazy silhouette. Honestly looks good with shorts, pants. And you can honestly dress them up and down. Very nice. And I like the way I laced them weirdly. But yeah. Next up. The Yeezy 750s. These are one of my favorite shoes. I wish I had the OG ones and the black ones. All black ones. These are also crazy to uh, dress up and down with. Yeah. Got those. Got my Yeezy 350s. V1s, obviously. I had the Pirate Black, sold them to my friend. Again, really didn't wear them. These I used to wear, they're kind of beat. I, don't, I haven't worn them probably months now, but definitely we'll get back to it because it's summer. I got the Yeezy V2s. All the white ones. All the white ones, all white ones. These are yellow and gross now. But yeah, I just throw them in the wash, honestly, weirdly, to clean them. Pretty cool. My girlfriend has the same matching pair as well. So we match with these whenever she wants to wear them. Next up, we got the Human Races. These are easily my favorite pair of the whole bunch. The insoles are crazy. You can get a good look at that. Absolutely insane, Pharrell killed these. Absolutely killed these. I honestly don't even know what this means, and obviously human, or whatever. But yeah, these are crazy. Next up, got these off-white Nikes. Everyone knows about these. Virgil killed these in the whole collection he made. Still need to get a bunch of pairs from them, from that collection. But yeah, my girlfriend got, got me these for Christmas. Pretty sweet. I've worn them a couple times, I really, Try not to because they scuff up on like the bubbles and stuff. Vape Max, my other Vape Max are wrecked, you'll see in a, in, a, in a minute, but yeah, these are crazy. You got a special LeBron. I don't know why they're singly like away from my other pair of LeBrons, but I sold a bunch of LeBrons I had. South Beaches, eights, nines. I sold a bunch of them, I just don't wear that stuff anymore. But these I had to keep. Got the corks, everyone knows about the corks. Any old shoe head easily knows about the corks. These, sh these went for like a grand, probably more. Yeah, these are crazy. I got, these aren't no uh, regular pair though. Got the special edition corks. So it came with the crazy box. This is the box that came in. It's a special edition one. They're crazy. It's honestly beat up from the person I bought, bought it from. It's all broken, but it's honestly a crazy box. Earn, not given. These are from Flight Club. Yeah, someone bought them from Flight Club for like 800. You can see that. Crazy though. It says earn not given the champagne bottles pop on LeBron James won his first championship on June 21st. A moment that also marked the finale to an unprecedented year for the three-time league MVP and finals MVP. This box is insane. All like the diamonds and shiz. Got the extra laces it comes with. These laces are kind of gross, they're like skinny. I don't like these at all. But that's why they're not on there. Comes with like the paper. And yeah. That's a little special edition box it comes with. Ready? Yes. All right, next up, got the Big Bangs. Another highly, highly sought after LeBron back in the day. They're obviously worth crap now, but these are insane to keep. I honestly need to get my South Beaches back and I'd be pretty happy with my LeBron collection. Unless I get like the MVPs or anything. The 10 and shit like that, but these are crazy, say the least. Galaxy Inner. Absolutely love these. Right, I'm gonna do my Ultra Boost real quick. Uh, the black uncaged, the white 2.0s, I think, and the white 1.0s. I had like the Colors, the SNS. I sold the Colors and the SNS for like absurd amount. I think I sold the SNS for like 900. Someone offered me like 850. I was like, I'll do nine. And he, Pull tricks, so I was like, yeah, get rid of those. 
900 in my pocket. I got, I got them in a trade with like Kobe 7 Galaxies and stuff with my friends. So I was like, yeah, I'll get rid of those for 900 profit easily. And yeah, that's honestly all my Adidas other than like Yeezys and stuff. I don't have too much stuff anymore. Yeah. Those are my Ultra Boost. Also the most comfortable shoe in the world, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna run very quickly through my Vans. Got like these 1966, like boat edition Vans. They're like, I don't know, I forget the story behind them, but yeah, these are pretty cool. Black Skate Highs, Beat to Shreds. Wore these like everywhere a couple years ago. Brand new pair of white Vans, slip-ons, because uh, these ones are beat to shreds, so I just wear these all the time. Yep. Uh, slip-on checkerboards, everyone knows about these. Non-slip-on checkerboards. The uh, Nintendo Duck Vans. Say game over on the bottom, it's pretty cool. Beat the crap out of these. Fourth of July edition. Probably wear these tomorrow, because today's Ju July 2nd. I'll probably wear them two days. But yeah, these are pretty clean. I haven't worn them since like two Fourth of July's ago. And then, got these green lows. Brand new basically, I don't know why I don't wear these. These are amazing, color sick. Girlfriend got me these, these are light blue ones. Like fuzzy though, you can see like the suede. Kind of ruined them over time, but these are crazy. Vans are probably the easiest shoe to wear. Black ones beat to shreds. W taps. Need the blue ones of these. These ones are beat to shreds as well, so I'll honestly probably grab a pair of these as well. Vans are the best. They're just so cheap, so it's just like why not grab them and then beat the crap at them. But uh, I got the extra butter, Sperry. Not the boat shoes. I wish any I wish I had the boat shoes. They're like all inner waves. These are all kind of ruined too, but the boat shoes have this pattern all over it. I need those. Not a big boat shoe guy anymore, but these top side are golf ones. I get so many compliments on these for some reason. So yeah, these are clean. Got the shout out Yo Ante. Got these uh, anchor print ones. I see him wearing them all summer. Also one of the one of the better sneaker YouTubers on the on the on the platform. And yeah, these are crazy. Got these uh, New Balance 998s, absolutely destroyed with like liquor of some sort. I don't know, they're gross. Got the Pistachio Extra Butter Asics. These are crazy, not my size anymore, so that's why I really don't touch them, they're like brand new, but Asics are clean. Next up, got the Converse Colme Colmes de Garcon. These are pretty cool. I just Honestly, not the biggest Converse wearer. They kind of look like bulky on me and gross. So yeah, that's why I don't really touch these anymore. Next up, I got the Oreo Flynet Racers. These used to be pretty hyped too back in the day, just the racers in general. These are, these are comfy, but I honestly haven't touched them in years. So they're pointless to have. Got the green and blue joints, like my girlfriend got me as well. These are pretty crazy, same thing, I really don't touch them. I like the South Beach pair, but I really don't want to spend money on racers. Some heaters here. Got the Air Max 90 Independence Days, red joints. These are pretty sick, I love wearing these. Shout out Kanye. Shout out everybody making these popular, bro. These things still go for like 300 I think. So if I ever need to get rid of them. Pretty good money back, I think I paid like two. Not too shabby. Now Jordans, I haven't worn Jordans in years, but I have the I bought these recently whenever they came out. The confetti pack, came with like a bag of confetti and whatever in that black box. Always the ball once, but these things are just clunky and just look kind of like janitor shoes. I don't know, they still cool though. Everyone knows these, I wish, th I wish there was Nike Air in the back, but Jordan 3 Black Cement. Then again, I don't wear Jordans. They're cracking in paint here. I don't know. I don't see myself wearing Jordans crazy amount anymore. Maybe some ones, like some OG ones and all that. I got the Jordan 1 Anniversaries. These kind of look like tin foil and the Jordan sign's kind of fogging up a little bit, but yeah, I want to get into more ones and stuff. I want to buy like Trav ones and 1980 like bread ones and everything, so yeah, hopefully I get to that, but some heater Kobe's from back in the day. 
probably won't ever sell these unless they go for like a stack. But what the Kobe sevens? These things are crazy. I absolutely love these. Insoles are both different. Everything's different. These are probably one of my favorite shoes I have in my collection. And I actually bought them, so they're pretty comfortable. Not not ruined. Same thing. What does? These are crazy as well. Shout out my boy Malachi. He also helped me with the SNS ones, the Ultra Boost I was talking about. These are crazy. These are also one of my favorite pairs. I just wish I could wear these with like outfits now. They're so crazy. Like that was so like, I don't know, like middle school and shit. But insoles are insane on both of them. These things are just fire. Got some heavy, heavy Kobe joints from back in the day, Kobe ones, lasers. I wore these gym class like in high school. Now they're absolutely destroyed. They're like 15 years old now. The details on them for like an old, old shoe. Insane. The laser is sick. Yeah, these things are freaking ruined. Unwearable for sure. Now my beaters. Absolutely destroyed Vapor Maxes. Like I said, I was gonna show you. But these things are absolutely ruined and I love Vapor Max. I think they're the second most comfortable shoe in my collection. But yeah. I beat the fudge out of those. Some random freaking dress shoes. I don't even know why these are here. Uh, some old LeBron South Beach sandals that I just never got around to selling, so I just keep them for like shower sandals for my in my school. Cause you don't want nasty ass feet. Got some uh, sandal boys. These things are pretty comfortable. Honestly, kind of tight around here. But shout out Fran. Got another pair right here. The teal joints. These are crazy. Very good summer stuff. Got some great, great Gucci slides. Shout out Gucci for the amazing quality in these slides. You know, they're, 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 they've held up over the after, over like the two years I've had them. Same with these, but I just honestly beat these. These are nice. Shout out Gucci. I got the Crocs, the heaters. Got some fire Crocs. And I got some, uh, some of my girlfriend a pair as well. Any of you guys trying to hook up your ladies? Right at the Crocs store, she'd be, she be, she be having a day up in there. You know what I'm saying? The Flamingo edition. Jeez! Alright. So yeah, that's my Steve collection. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll catch you in the next one.